I don't have time to work on during the week. Um, but yeah, today, today I'm going to dedicate uh, basically the entirety of the stream to hunting the last stars of destiny we are missing which uh i think it should be nine um i have played a little bit of this in between yesterday's and today's stream because i wanted to do the um 50k in trading to recruit uh gordon in Greg Minster and uh, I checked it's possible now um, I spent a couple of hours doing that uh, honestly I still don't know if I understand correctly how trading works um, in Secret and 2 uh, but basically it looks like you go to a, a trade guild in one town get the item that costs the less amount of money go to another trading guild and trade it uh, and profit from the difference uh, in price. So I did that for a couple of hours. Uh, I got the 50k. I went to Greg Minster. I checked. Gordon is now ready to join me. So yeah. Um, he's going to be the first character we're going to recruit. So let's start with that. All right. In fact, I saved here for that specific reason. Of course, I'm going to skip all the battles in this place. Because apparently, I'm very close to the cutoff point. I already had a feeling, I got a confirmation from chat yesterday that I'm getting close. To the moment the game checks if you have or not the 108 stars of destiny. Do 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 do. Yep, the day has finally come. Incredible business sense. Yeah, I don't know about that. Perfect. Now, uh, another thing that I want to do while I'm here, I mean, I'm in Gregminster, so why not? Um, is there something that we want to do? Yes. Might as well. Still level 46. Oh, is level 14. Like his weapon is level 14. Interesting. Uh sure. No. The biggest problem is I am scared about the gaming rearrange the game rearranging my party every time there's a new story bit, and it might leave my party. And I don't want to come back to Greg Minster. 
just to recruit him again. Yes. Alright, let's go back. How much EXP does he get here? Basically nothing. Hmm. Alright, I think Gordon is character number 100. So that might be good. To recruit Mazes. Maybe. I kind of want to be sure though. Mm, no, we don't need to save here. All right, what are we going to do now? Uh, okay, we have Mazes we can go and get, possibly. I'm pretty sure it's probably tied to the uh, level of the castle. If the castle is in level, I think, 4, it's not going to happen. I guess we can go around and check again. Town. Hey, Dippo. Uh, recruiting is going... I want to say we are almost done. Uh, I think I just got star number 100. Right now, I'm running out of ideas, though. About... What the hell I have to do. First playthrough. Yes, it's first playthrough. This is a first playthrough. I'm trying to recruit every star of destiny without following a guide uh, i did it in the first suikoden uh unfortunately i don't have the vods anymore that was before i had a youtube channel where i uploaded the vods i got a medicine i don't need a medicine um but yeah i'm trying to i, I think i'm gonna um, I'm going to be pretty close if I advance with the story to the cutoff point. That's why I stopped with the plot for now. And I'm trying to find the last Stars of Destiny I need. Some of the characters in this game are rather obscure. Probably use a guide if you try to remaster it. That's... I mean, I'm definitely going to use a guide for my second playthrough. Because it's probably a lot of missables I have lost along the way. Right, uh, sure. <laughs> Where do we want to go? How's Azure going, Dippo? Based on what I'm reading, you are close to the end too, right? The finale is going by now that you have a good translation. Alright, uh, let's revisit... Hmm. Alright, let's see. Toto Village, I mean, Toto Village is one of the first villages you get. And I'm pretty sure we exhausted the optional stuff here.
I have a couple of hints I can follow, though. I have a couple of hints. Uh... Funky, thank you very much. For the 31 months, really appreciate it. How's it going? Thanks for the resub and thanks for the continued support. How are you doing? Uh, don't try to get the 108 stars. I have to. I absolutely have to. Like, it, it's the completionist mindset. I would not feel good without getting all of the stars. I would probably start this playthrough right after i'm done with the game that's not gonna happen how many stars are we at uh we should be at 100 right now with three more stars like i know where one is i know where one is i tried to recruit that star yesterday but i'm still not good enough for that person so I i'm thinking it's either uh stars based or castle level based so I'm trying to recruit a couple of more before I try again. Uh, Mazis. The dude in the Tinto Mines. Yo, Spartaxis. Uh, okay, then I have a couple of hints I have to follow uh, based on a couple of dialogues I got from NPCs. One is... Uh, a red caped something near Green Hill. I still have to try and get that. And apparently the master of the Cave of the Wind, uh, an NPC mentioned that. So technically three more stars. Right now I am exploring uh, towns to see if there's someone who appeared. Because also, based on based on what I have in the castle, I can kind of guess if we're missing some non-fighting stars. Like, I'm, uh, I don't think we recruited a dancer, right? I don't think we did. And there's a... There's definitely space for a dancer. Yo, Gerbo. You know other games do that? Oh god, 107 stars to recruit the 108 stars? Well, 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 Sukuden 1 does that. Right? There's a certain person you can only recruit if you have recruited all the other stars. It's kind of the big surprise of the game. Like... Don't you need all the stars to recruit Gremio and Sukunin 1? Am I remembering wrong? Well, not really to recruit Gremio, but to have Gremio with you. Oh, that's right. Well, we can do that while we're here. I guess we can get... See? There's definitely space for a dancer here, so we have to recruit a dancer somewhere. Wait, where am I going? Oh, the restaurant... Oh, yeah, the restaurant is this way. Oh, by the way, while I was looking for stuff in the castle today, while I was... Um, checking if new stuff unlocked, I just realized that these are not windows. There's actually people here. And apparently this dude has a minigame. The climbing minigame, which honestly, I absolutely despise. 
Why? Because it's RNG based. I avoided the kitchen just because I knew I was going to get this. Sorry, not the kitchen, the restaurant. Don't lose, hi-ho. <laughs> Honestly, we don't really have a lot of new recipes. Like, the menu is probably going to be the same. As last time. Uh, yeah, we do have different judges compared to last time. Chinese food, okay. Western food. Man, that's... that's hard. Do, 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 do. Just make fortune cookies. I mean, we, we, we really have not a lot of stuff here. Appetizer. It's not a lot of... It's not a lot of stuff. Uh, Japanese stew is not a good app. I mean, look. Does it really count? What we choose for appetizer and main course in the sense of... Because, you know... I mean, Japanese stew is... Not Western. When it comes to... Man. What's the magoyaki again? Uh, I think you guys told me last time. <laughs> Fracked fish balls. Omelette. Yeah, you know, you know, we can go with a omelette like that. And... I'm gonna put some soy sauce on it. Egg dish. Main course. Look. How about a barbecue meat bun? With red pepper on. It's a pizza bun now. Okay. And... Oh god, what did they say about... Look, the only dessert I have, it's the ice cream. With some sugar on. And it's all fish. That's good. Violet clams. Oof, that's a lot. You guys, you guys should prefer my dish by default, by the way. Hello? Eh. Okay, I think we should be around even, considering that we made 
Yeah, Gabocha, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> That's not... Fried tacos for dessert? Come on. Okay, look. You can never go wrong with ice cream. See, Freed, Gabocha, you suck. Come on, you, you, you suck. What the hell? Jesus. Well, we still win. Okay, we have a new recipe that we can use. Yep, ice cream brings it up every time. We probably should have cooked dog food for Gabocha. Maybe that's why. He didn't really like anything. Uh, let's save. <laughs> so I'm guessing that the last stars we're missing are probably going to be the more cryptic ones. Because honestly, I don't know where to look for them. Okay. TV is going to turn off. Because look. We're missing one here. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're missing eight. And I have, I know where one is. I have a hint about a couple more. Let me see. Did I send? Richmond, I, I think I send Richmond out for Mazes. So he's probably going to tell me the answer I need. No? Uh, okay. Genshu. I know where Genshu is. And it is... Yes. He only talks to folks with high-level weapons. The highest I have right now is 14, so I'm going to try. And it's not mine. Uh, I do have McDowell in my party at the moment. Uh, I should also... Man, I would probably need to get, like, another hammer. Because our blacksmith, Tessai, can only level up to 13. Maybe 13 is enough. Maybe 13 is enough. You know what? All right, so, um, let's go to Couscous, because we need a boat. And since I'm here, I might as well check the rest of the town. I, I checked yesterday, like, the southern part of the town. I think I stopped where I got where I got Tessai here. Nope. You cannot level our weapons up. Oh, wait. Mm-hmm. Join our group. That's not true. You got... God! What? 
freaking knew it. There's our dancer. Forget it, sister. Okay, I'll do it. Listen to explanation. Wait, do I have to remember all that stuff? Oh, God. Okay. Impressing. Okay. Oh god. Uh okay. Uh Is it good? No. Oh god, I forgot the order of the second one. What should be like, you have one chance only. Okay, l l let me see it again. Let's memorize in. All right, so it's da, da, da. okay, da, 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 da. It's the second half that, okay, it, I know the first half is easy. Second half is, uh, okay, let's see if I got it. Okay. Yeah, I got it. All right. One hundred and one. One hundred and one. Somewhere long ago, what are you talking about? No, I... I already freed Green Hill, what are you talking about? Oh, oh, there's also another one that we can get. Uh, apparently, we need uh, Simone in our party somewhere. I think it's in Radot, because an NPC mentioned that there was some th someone looking for Simone in Radot. I probably don't have Simone in my party, though. So, is anyone here playing uh, Resident Evil 4, the remake? 
I've seen a decent chunk of footage today. And it looks like... They made a really good job with the game. Or do any of you plan to start streaming it anytime soon? Oh, you're saving it for October. Well, that's a good game to save for October. I think I'm gonna do... I'm gonna have my own little... Week of order stuff in October too. Because, hey, for the people that missed it yesterday, look what I got here. It's finally here. The PS1. I wanted modded like I wanted to play some good real hardware stuff on it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So the next PS1 game I'm going to play, it's going to be played on that. And I do want to play Silent Hill at some point, and I want to play it on real hardware. I'm also leaving that game for October if I can. It is pretty sweet. It's it's a, it's modded to run digital games on real hardware with a memory card that <laughs> creates eight memory cards for each game I launch. So I will never have memory card problems ever again. And the good thing is that I tried to uh, bring the uh, save files I have for Suikoden 2 on that memory card launch Suikoden 2 on real hardware and it worked absolutely without any flaw so technically I could continue this playthrough on real hardware if I wanted All right dude okay so let me check. Uh, can we see the actual? Yes, 13, 12, 12, 14, 12. So, man, so he probably needs like 15 or 16, right? We'll play it soon, finishing The Last of Us remake first. 15. Or maybe, maybe it's also tied to the characters like the level of the castle hmm. all right you know what let's go after the hints then all right the first hint was in First hint was in Green Hill. Mm -hmm. First hint was in Green Hill. Could have used the blink mirror on the boat, to be fair. Yes, I want to go to Green Hill. Do, 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 do. And it was, it was. Uh, this NPC right here. When I was coming back here from Musa a little while ago, all by myself, a flying squirrel in a rat cape joined me. When I was coming back here from Muse a little while ago, all by myself, a flying squirrel in a red cape joined me. Okay. Let me think about that. So what, what does that mean? Does it mean we have to wander the world map until we encounter a red cape squirrel? Does that mean... There's an area I have missed that I have, to, I have to visit. I have to... 
Because I'm trying to think about how Green Hill and Musa are, con are connected. And it's done through uh, the border, right? There's not a real, uh, like a, like a forest path. Right? Am I remembering wrong? Did I get Jude yesterday? I think I did, right? Yeah, but it was here. Jude, or not Jude. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. A silver hammer can increase a weapon. I have to give that to Tessai. Silver doesn't sound like the ultimate hammer, though. So there's probably a golden or a platinum one. My guess is golden, platinum, or golden, diamond. Because this could potentially be just level up to 14. Let me check. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is he? Hammer, 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 hammer. Silver hammer. 15. Nice. 16 is the maximum, right? Uh, it was 16 in the first game, right? All right, so. Let's go back to this. Uh, from Muse. Okay. So, if I check the circle map, which I cannot check... Wait, can I not check it here? Can I not only do it here? Okay. Uh, coming back from you, say... That's the... Oh god, what is that? Again. That's the forest village, right? Yeah. Hey, chillin' chum. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Alright, so... You're all right. Good to hear. All right, let me let me let me let me think about it. It could be like there's like an area that is unmarked on the map. So let me let, let's explore. I'm surprised I haven't played this one before. You're not the first one to tell me that, and. Uh, Honestly, I can see why. I mean, this is one of those games that is considered a classic. But I had my first experience with the Suikoden series uh, a couple of years ago with the first game. I think I will ask a hint for this one. Okay, so. Is it something that happens on the world map? Let's approach it slowly. Let's see if I can guess. Yes. Okay. So it means it's an encounter on the world map. Uh, the way she worded the hint is that the red cape squirrel joined her. So there are two options here. Again, it's just an encounter on the world map. Like literally just like fighting Yuffie in Final Fantasy VII. You just encounter her. Uh, it's interactive and you recruit Yuffie. Or, or it could be that the Red Cape Squirrel just joins my party. Randomly. Now, if that's the case, there's a problem. 
Because my party is full. And there's no way the game will let you have a new character and send it back to the castle without you knowing it. So there's a good chance I need to have at least one spot free. Seems like something you'd have played at the time it was new, it just seems fitting to me. Um, to be fair, I was not really aware of uh, its existence when uh, it got released. Um, I'm pretty sure that I discovered the existence of Suikoden and Suikoden 2 probably around 99, which is one year after this one got released. Um, because that's where I started buying magazines. I think my first magazine, my first magazine was a magazine called Galaxy PlayStation, uh, which is the Italian version of um, a UK magazine, which had a similar name. Uh, I don't remember if it was a Planet PlayStation or something like that. They literally have the same covers. It's just a title different. And I'm pretty sure the first number is came out in 98. Uh, it had a short run around probably one year but i love that magazine i still have it somewhere uh, it's still being sold on ebay and that's one run that i would like to have uh, it's not that expensive and uh, i discovered the existence of sukunen um in the uh, cheats and solution uh, area of the magazine. Like, that's where I discovered about uh, the possibility of recruiting the main character of Sukunen 1 and Sukunen 2. I've, I've known that since that day in... Uh, it was either 98 or 99. It was one of the... One of the releases, it was a monthly magazine, and I remember explicitly um, a part of uh, those couple of pages they dedicated to uh, small pieces of walkthroughs and cheats for video games, talking about uh, the fact that you could have recruited um, the main character of Sukunen 1 if you had the save file of Sukunen 1 when starting Sukunen 2. So it's the only thing I knew about uh, Sukuden for a long time. Dead and a couple of screenshots um, for the first dungeon of Sukuden 2. That's it. All right. Um, so let's try. Let's try. Let's try three my party. If I can, if I can find uh, one of the. Uh, one of the magazines. I still have five or six of those magazines somewhere. If I can find them, I, I, I can show it on stream, I think. The reviews, especially. There were a lot of reviews. Originally, that's how I was supposed to... Um, when I thought about having my own reviews... I was supposed to follow their style of reviews, which was split uh, in a very specific way. And I'm still thinking about doing that, to be honest. Um, a 0 to 100 rating. Alright, no, I don't want to talk with you. I have to change my party. Let's see if I'm right. So we have established that it's a... I'm leaving... I'm leaving MacDoll with me. I don't want to go to Greg Minster now. Yes. How cool is this? The main protagonist of 1 and 2 alone in a party.
Well, we can go to the Muse Green Hill Birder. Right? We should be the top right. Yes. No. No. Wait. Yes. It's this one. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, so if it's an encounter on the world map... She said she was coming back to... Green Hill from uh, Muse, so... I'm probably in the right area here. Right? This is Green Hill. So, I'm probably have to follow this path, or at least be in this general area. Waiting to trigger an encounter. Okay, second hint. Is it a specific area? Or is it just this uh, part of the map? Because, man, if that's the case, this is huge. So I have to... Between music... Yeah, because that's that's how the, the hint is worded. Like, she was coming back from Muse, heading towards Green Hill, so it's on the right side. I find this spot suspicious, though. Like, this part of the map... It goes... Too much into... Oh god, the birds. Like, it looks like here... There could be like... I don't know... A hidden forest or something like that. So I guess we're gonna, like... Praying to the RNG god. And hoping... For something to happen. It's probably been nearly 10 years since you watched the let's play of this game. Well, how about it? I am currently uploading this on YouTube, so if you've missed earlier streams of me playing this game, you can rewatch them on YouTube. What is this nonsense? Why am I running away? Oh, maybe because I only have two characters in my party. Let's bribe them. 75k? What the freaking hell? 75k? For enemies around Green Hill at freaking level like 51? Holy shit! Nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. nah. We're gonna fight this. the hell okay do you do anything I mean I'm okay with this uh, you know play this we just suppose uh, via that um, let's play to be honest I watched a lot of I mean I'm I still watch uh, a lot of let's plays on YouTube uh, that's uh, it might sound weird, but that's where I discover a lot of Twitch streamers. I discovered a lot of Twitch streamers through YouTube. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the discovery system uh, on Twitch.
There are some YouTubers that I followed on Twitch after they started their own Twitch thing. Like Funky, for example, is one of the, the people that I discovered on YouTube that I also started to follow on Twitch a little bit after. There are some people that um, I follow that do not uh, stream on Twitch, they stream on YouTube. When they raided me, oh, uh, well, it could have been like Mr. J. Uh, I know you watch Mr. J. It could have been a Mr. J raid. Really? Maybe I should have brought a third character. Well, we are getting some EXP here. Yeah, it was, it was probably Mr. J. He plays a lot of stuff that overlaps with my taste, so there's a good chance. It's interesting that... So these enemies... Do, I wonder what... Why they're not doing anything. They are encoded to attack parties with only two members. Yeah, we can still level up McDoll. All right, let's continue on following the trail here. I remember when I started when I started watching. Um, Let's Plays on YouTube. I think 80% of the stuff I watched, it, watched was uh, uh, first playthroughs of Final Fantasy IX. I just loved watching people uh, playing through that game. Some of them don't even uh, do Let's Plays anymore. Uh, some of those playthroughs are like... Sub HD. I'm pretty sure that there are still playthroughs that are like uh, 360p only. I watched a lot back in the days. You're not even much of a retro RPG gamer until then. Play Atelier. I played uh, the first Iris. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, technically, I am uploading, as of right now, I am uploading sub HD on YouTube because 720p uh, back in the days was HD on YouTube. Now, it got uh, declassed around two, three years ago. And it's not uh, an HD quality anymore on YouTube. There's people out there uploading content, let's plays in 4K, and I still can't even do 1080p. Hey, Osmosis. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But hey, I just realized that I'm very close to um, reaching 200 videos on YouTube. I have a lot of long playthroughs.
when is 720p not going to be considered HD? Well, it happened. I hope I'm doing the right thing. Like, again, based on the, the hint, it seems like this is what you have to do. You can only tune in on Twitch. I honestly, I still, I, I mean, I, I still uh, watch Let's Plays less than before. To be fair, because most of the time, the stuff that it gets uploaded on YouTube is stuff I was watching live on Twitch. Uh, I don't really have the time anymore to watch the amount of Let's Plays I used to watch. I could if I was not streaming. Like those three, four hours I have on the evening instead of watching YouTube or watching other stuff. Uh, I usually stream. Or play games that I don't stream. Maybe one day I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be the lucky dude that <laughs> wins the lottery and has all the time to become a full-time streamer and dedicate his free time to not only make content but also support other content being made. Wait, uh we do have a double leader attack. What am I doing? If you retire, you want to make... Oh, guard ring. I doubt it's going to be any anything good. Uh, you retire, you want to just want to make a game. What kind of game... Would you make like first of all would it be would it be like uh rpg if you're a child you want to be bruce wayne who wouldn't being one of the most powerful and wealthiest no individuals in the world, but also being a guardian of justice. Mm -hmm. Writing a hybrid between a visual novel and a strategy JRPG with Western ideas added in. So, so, something like the Sakura Wars inspired. Like when I think about tactical RPG and visual novel, the first thing that comes to my mind is uh, Sakura Wars. Front mission? Valkyrie across. Like, how is front mission. Um, on the visual novel side? Because it's pretty tactical, but I honestly don't know how front mission presents its story bits. Is it visual novel y? Why am I following this path? This is not, this is not good. Well, we are getting some money to upgrade our weapons. You know the mech head? Me neither. Like, I love mechs. I absolutely love mechs. 
but my knowledge when it comes to shows, games, it's pretty limited. Like, don't ask me anything about Gundam. Because the only answer you're going to get is Gundam has Max. But when I see a Mac in a video game, I get pretty hyped. Come on, it has to be this part of the map. It's guns. So, JRPGs with guns? How about... Well... How about Wild Arms? Wild Arms 1 and 3 especially do have... A lot of stuff that, for whatever reason, reminds me of a Western atmosphere. You haven't played those. Uh, Wild Arms 3, I have not finished it, but... It always gave me the, 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 the idea that, at least based on the stuff I've played, there was going to be a lot of Western influencers. I'm talking about the Western genre. Oh, we can let go this one. You haven't played too many JRPGs. I've played a fair share, but if, if I if I compare myself to some of the people that are in chat right now, yeah, I know that I've played definitely less than I wanted. Fifty. Okay. Western RPGs focus on lore, JRPGs focus on characters. Mm, well, there are some JRPG series out there that do focus on lore. The Trail series, for example. Like, the main, the main thing behind the Trail series is the lore of the world. It's the world building. Um, Suikoden, this series does that. Uh, the stuff I've played, the stuff I've been told. There's, uh, a huge lore behind the Suikoden series. To, to the point that there are actually two visual novel spin-offs that I'm pretty sure have the task of bringing even more lore about the world and the characters. Like the Genso Sikonen uh, visual novels on PS1. Do exactly that. Okay, question. Am I doing the right thing? A simple yes or a no is enough for now. Like, is my idea at least somewhat close to what you have to do? Because again, my idea is that she said that the squirrel joined her on her way back to Green Hill. So my brain said to me, hey, if the squirrel joined, it's probably going to join your party. But joins 
joining a party can mean it's either that the squirrel appears randomly in a battle or you have to encounter it. Who <laughs> doesn't want a cute anime girl with a gun fighting against the forces? Who doesn't want that? So, since you are um, uh, a fan of the Atelier series, uh, what do you think of the latest trilogy? Uh, which, I'm sorry if I'm going to butcher the name. I still don't know how it is, if it's Ryza or Riza. I think it's Ryza. Because apparently, it's pretty good. I think the Ryza has nice ties. Yeah, I mean, that was apparently one of the main selling points at the start. But uh, it is also the trilogy that I think sold the most amount of copies. And because it is legitimately good. Talked to a girl again and then walked around right after. Hmm. Well, hey, at least we are earning money. <laughs> okay. Another question that I have that might be related to this, actually. So, Spartaxus, Spartaxus told me that uh, at the start of the game, you can recruit a character. And if you miss that character... Uh, you are able to recruit him um, or her very much later into the game. I wonder, is it one of the characters I have recruited? Is it one of the characters I still have to recruit? Still missing. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if it's this one. Shelly Doe, because the characters in Queen Shalode really caught your attention, rises more closer to a traditional uh, JRPG. Interesting. My only experience with Gus um, has been. Uh, the first uh, Atelier Iris on PS2 and uh, the first Manakimia game. I played the hell out of the first Manakamiya. Well, you have two, what else you need? That is true. That is, that is true. And I love the fact that they have an attack together. I love the fact that that's a thing. I hate the fact that I have to go and recruit him every single time he leaves the party. I hope that's not something that will happen ever again. Because the only reason he's in my party right now is because I went to Greg Minster to recruit Gordon. Since I was there, I was like, hey, let's get here. Mr. Tech Doll. You know what? Let's reread. I mean, if, if I take a look at uh, his stats, uh, he's, he's pretty good. And I can give him more stuff. He's pretty good. All right, Funky. Catch you later. What are you going to stream? All by myself. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, that me. Oh, that sucks. If that's if that's what I have to do, I just said I don't want to go back to Greg Minster to recruit tier. Oh, if that's what we have to do, this sucks. More Celeste is gonna be painful. Oh man, I have to get back to Celeste. I'm missing uh, all the extra stuff. But yeah, man. Have a good stream. Please, someone, tell me that I... Tell me that I don't have to be alone. Tell me that it doesn't matter if I have people in my party. Tell me I just need a free spot. I'm okay with knowing that. I don't want to go back to grab. See? I wonder why they never added a teleport uh, point to Greg Minster. Oh, Celeste is one of the few games where I honestly don't care about uh, how many times I die. It's just a fun game to play. But I know that to get the extra stuff... You really need to master that game. Like the golden, the golden strawberry thing, like you need to basically uh, get the golden strawberry and reach the end of the level without dying once. I don't know if I'm able to do that. I'm a completionist. I love hard achievements, but that seems a little bit too much. It's not punishing is the thing. That's true. That's true. Like a normal playthrough of Celeste, it's not really punishing. Death is a learning experience. And dying does not set you back at the start of the level, which is the most important thing. It's not punishing. It's not tedious. It's a fast paced game. You never recruited the character in this tedious way. Well, Spartax says you just confirmed what I was saying before. This is the character that we were supposed to get uh, at the start of the game, right? Because if you recruited this character in another way... <laughs> okay, so I guess we're going to have to go back to Greg Minster. You deny everything. Now, now I'm curious though. So if this is the character, how you recruit this character normally? <laughs> it's poke. It's called uh Tiny Tunes. Buster bus loose that caused me your problems. You've never been in it without stooping to save states. Is it one of those BS platformers from back in the days? Inspect the three the tree behind your house. Why am I in the Cobalt Village? Green Hill. Not Cobalt Village. Stupid me. Oh, wow. Well, it makes sense. It's a squirrel, apparently. So, yeah, it makes sense. Squirrel on the tree. Green Hill. I mean, there's a lot of... There's a lot of BS stuff back in the days. Like... Um... It kind of goes back a little bit to 
the question I was asked yesterday, like if I prefer um, the older approach to uh, JRPGs compared to the newer approach, I guess we can expand that to gaming in general. Personally, personally, I prefer the modern approach. Uh, a lot of people call it simplifying video games. I call it make them more playable compared to some of the stuff that was released in the past, especially the B-tier stuff. Now, gaming these days is doing a lot better when it comes to uh, non-AAA games compared to the past. The non-AAA JRPGs that are coming out these days that have been coming out for 10, 15 years are in my opinion, miles better compared to the non triple A JRPGs from the 90s. Because at the end of the day, when I talk to people and say, hey, what are your favorite games from the 90s, your favorite JRPGs? And they always go for the same three, four games. It's very hard to hear something like uh, a hidden gem. Or a game that it's not, you know, Final Fantasy VI, Chrono Trigger. We've tried Final Fantasy I on that dual pack on GBA, it felt too simple to me. It's funny you say that, uh, I actually replayed that one on my own around Christmas. Um, for my retro achievements run and I got every single achievement Final Fantasy 1 uh, in my opinion I, I also tried to replay the NES game and I'm sorry but I don't think I'm ever going to play Final Fantasy 1 on NES uh, anytime soon it's super tedious iconic game I'm never gonna uh Denied that. It's a legendary game, but it's NES version. In today, it's almost unplayable. It's too slow. Too freaking slow. Like, look. The GBA version might have some problems. Like, the GBA colors not exactly the best when it comes to Final Fantasy games and the GBA sound chip is also like not the best but I would recommend that version over the NES original 10 times out of 10 it's not fair for you to say it but you think you like cross more than trigger I never played Chrono Cross so I'm never gonna compare the two but Chrono Trigger is my favorite game of all time. But it's also a game that I have a lot of nostalgia for. So while I do think it does a lot of things wonderfully, I also know that there's this uh, coat of nostalgia over it for me. And I'm pretty sure that even if I will play Chrono Cross and rate it super highly, uh, it's probably never going to be like even with my love for a trigger. Now just get the pixel remasters and mod them to be the way you want. Yeah, I mean, uh, originally I thought about when I was going to... Uh, when I was planning my Final Fantasy series playthrough, um, I thought about playing the version with more content, which is either the GBA version or the PSP version of one. But I think I'm gonna I'm gonna play the Pixel Remasters. 
I don't think, honestly, I don't think the, the, the extra stuff uh, that you get on the GBA version of Final Fantasy 1 is worth it, to be honest. There's good GBA music when they figured out how to use it, but it does suck that the SNES sound chip is probably better. Yes, I mean, for example, uh, if I think about games that came out on, on the GBA and got released elsewhere, uh, the, the Phoenix Wright trilogy is one example. Like, uh, personally, oh god, I'm dying. Maybe I should heal myself. should definitely hit myself. Like, if you're gonna listen to the soundtrack of the Ace Attorney trilogy, which is my opinion is phenomenal, um, you have to go for the DS version, or the version that it's on the remastered edition, which is technically the DS uh, rearranged. The characters in the world and experience uh, for you to cross more. Well, I wouldn't be surprised to find out that the story of Cross is, and the dialogues and the interactions between characters is a little bit more articulate than what we get in Trigger. But I think the, the stuff that works for me for Chrono Trigger is is that when, when I think about what I just said, uh, is that uh, the story, the, the, the plot, the lore is perfectly, the dialogues is perfectly balanced in the game. Like the tone, the atmosphere, the dialogues, everything, the full package is perfectly balanced. That's why I love it so much. The soundtrack is simply incredible like i don't think there's a there's a weak spot in that soundtrack very few soundtracks for me are like that i really hope i'm gonna get this character very soon Trigger also has a, has a kind of playful charm that really fits the style in the story. Exactly, exactly. That, that, I think that summarizes exactly what I think about Chrono Trigger. Man, <laughs> this became a, a solo Rio grind session. Some people get bored with a bunch of dialogue, but if it keeps your attention by being interesting in some way, you're in for the long goal. Uh, you will find me on the same wavelength, Chilling Chum. Uh, to me, too much dialogue is never a problem. If the dialogue, especially if the dialogue is good, if it's entertaining, if it makes sense, um, I'll always be there reading. The idea of some teenagers traveling through the time to save the world is very silly, and Chrono Trigger owns that silliness. That is true. And, uh... Chrono Trigger also, I mean, it plays with that idea, but also adds a lot of moments that are... incredibly mature and sad. There are some scenes in Chrono Trigger that I still... that still shock me to this day. Like... When you go back in time to save Lucas' mom from the incident, like the first time I tried that on my first playthrough, I failed. And I still remember that, remember that moment vividly.
Yes, for uh, uh, another moment that I really love is when you go when you go uh, to the future for the first time and you descend the first dome you get into uh, and you discover that the fridge the, 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 the fridge room, the refrigerator room is broken and has been broken for a lot of time and there was this dude that died in it with a seed in his hand as a sort of last hope That scene always gets me. Uh, I know very little about Chrono Cross. Like I know it's supposed to play a part in the in the Chrono lore. Um, I know that there's some revelations, pretty big plot revelations that are pretty dark compared to the, the 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 tone of the early game but i know i know it's weird but i know very little about it after all these years i don't even know if i've ever listened to a single song from the soundtrack i tend to stay away from um the soundtracks that I know are supposed to be good of games that I haven't played yet because I think I think that the link between the music and the game especially some scenes where certain songs play in is something that should be experienced um first hand As opposed to just listen to the music outside of its context. No, if it's a game I've played, I can listen to the music outside its context with no problems. I have huge playlists um, of soundtracks uh, of games I played. But I tend to, I tend to listen to soundtracks uh, of certain games only after I've played the game. Jesus Christ. If this is what I have to do, this is really one of the most annoying characters to recruit this way. I don't want to use my runes. Like, still to this day, I have very little knowledge of uh, Shoji Meguro's music in Persona 3 and 4. I know a couple of tracks from 3, I know a couple of tracks from 4, and I know... Uh, the only soundtrack I know and listen to regularly is Persona 5's, the Persona 5 soundtrack, but that's because I've played the game. Uh, that's a, yeah that, that, that sounds poetic I mean sailing uh, on the sea of time is very poetic Jesus Christ why is these enemies so strong Well, more than strong, they are annoying because, well, <laughs> they are focusing on attacking only one character.
like this game is a good example there there is some music in this game that really goes well with the um the atmosphere that you're supposed to get from certain towns certain uh town themes probably wouldn't have had the same um impact they had on me if i listened to him uh outside of the game you know what yeah we're not gonna do anything here okay let's just run away No, no, I mean, Chrono Cross is definitely one of those games I'm going to play at some point. Uh, I already decided what I'm going to... I mean, uh, the game that I'm going to play after Suikoden 2 uh, is already being decided for quite some time. It's going to be Tales of Arise. But um, after that, I have two games to play that will be picked by, uh, by you all. With your channel points. Let me repost this just, just in case. Uh, basically, every couple of games, every couple of games that I uh, play that are chosen by you, I pick a game myself. I have already picked the next game. I'm not gonna say what it is. Because it's a game that will make some of you happy. I still want you to use those channel points. Use of the word atmosphere. I tend to... I'm, I, I use the word atmosphere a lot when I think about games. Because at the end of the day, uh, if you think about it, it's exactly that. The vibe, uh, the, the, the link between the, the art style, uh, the, the environments, and the, the music is exactly that. Uh, uh, a vibe, an atmosphere. You're saving up the dumb points in Dark Souls. Talk about you're sure that's enough to redeem a game. I mean, you can check with 12k. I, I doubt. I'm gonna watch a movie in a bit. Am I ready for the end game? I am ready for the end game, but I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. Mostly because I'm trying to uh, to recruit the last stars I'm missing. We have eight stars left. And I know one is hiding here somewhere. I know it. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I would be very surprised if after this star. There's going to be another one that's going to make me suffer like this. If I if I found the character with eight uh, marks, not yet. So um, I'm going to I'm going to repeat. Uh, what are my plans for today? So this character uh, it's because uh, there was a hint from an NPC. There is another character we got a hint for, and I think I'm gonna go after it, um, after this one. So, there was an NPC that mentioned... I don't remember where the NPC was. I think it was uh, one of the uh, latest villages we have visited that said that apparently there is a master of the Cave of the Wind, or something like that. He definitely name-dropped the Cave of the Wind. So after this, we're going to explore the Cave of the Wind again. 
and see if maybe uh, there's a character that appeared there. So we get this character and this is number 102. Um, we have Mazis. Oh god, it went on auto. I'm an idiot. There's Mazis, which is character 103. Then the, there's this Master of the Cave of the Wind, 104. Then there's Genshu, 105. And then after that, I'm missing three characters. Does Muku sound familiar? Nope. I know that there is one character that you can get. Uh, it's probably this one. I know there is one character that you can get at the start of the game that if you miss that character uh, at the start of the game, you can get it later in a different manner. And Spartax has basically confirmed it's this one. Um, the name Muku sounds like it could be an animal character. We are trying to recruit a red caped squirrel, so it could be this one. You can get him in the first 15 minutes, but also now. So it's that one. So I'm trying to get this Muku character here. God, I... Alright, so this is... Wait, no, no, wait. So, okay. We have 101 characters now. This is... Uh... Okay, let's count one. Let's, let's, let's just... Let's just say 1 to 10. So, uh, we have... Let's ignore the 100 characters before. We have one character now. This is number 2. Um, there's probably a character... There's uh, there's um, the character in Tinto Mine. That's 3. 4 is... The character that is probably in the Cave of the Wind. Genshu is 5. And then we have three characters that, honestly, I don't know, or I don't remember. Maybe I'm missing a character we have encountered. Need five of them? I still need seven. Uh, one poster writes that you need to be past a certain point for the character to appear. Look, if we are very close to the cutoff point... I'm pretty sure that if I advance the story a little bit more, we're going to be locked into endgame. Ragged ones in the area. Ragged ones. Maybe it's off the beaten path? These are the kookaburra, I doubt. It's this one. Ragged, I do remember the enemy Ragged Ones. Mm. The zombie looking dudes. Between the Green Hill and the Muse... I mean, it's this area. I mean, uh, on the other side. Like, the right area. Not this left one, but... I'm pretty sure, like, Green Hill is right here. And the border... ...is here. It's this one.
Like, I know I'm in somewhat the right area. I wonder if... Uh, what's the mechanic behind his appearance? If it's uh, just RNG based, if there's a timer, if the game is counting anything. Because the hint says, I was coming back from Moose, heading towards Green Hill. I was alone, and this red cape squirrel joined me. RNG is for the community knows, but empty party is needed at least once. That's interesting. At least one spot means that you can still have five characters. And it's still gonna happen. Now... Uh, I have a question, though. Does the game count how many spots you have free in your party? Or is it the same chance? Um, even if you only have one spot. I'm also, for whatever reason, following the, the path here. Thinking that maybe there are more chances for this character to appear. With no party members, but also people debunking it. So it's one of those things that it's not really confirmed. It's a shame. I tend to think that there are probably higher chances if you are alone. Because the game... The game went out of its way to specify that the NPC was alone. So it might be based, like, maybe you have more chances the less amount of party members you have. Maybe the game checks that. Maybe the game checks how many spots you have uh, free in your party and... You get different, a different, um, you have a higher chance of finding this character. But the thing is, either, either I have to check a very specific area or the chances to encounter this character are very low because we've been doing this for like an hour at this point right 40 45 minutes 50 minutes oh god i went auto again please don't There is something linked to this character that is definitely RNG based. Man, RNG. There's a lot of... <laughs> well, to be fair though, this is an optional character, so... Uh, I usually... I don't... Fault the game. When RNG is used for optional stuff. But there is a lot of RNG for optional stuff in this game. Uh, mini games. Uh, at least two mini games are RNG based. The war battles have a lot of RNG in them, like an excessive amount of RNG. Jesus Christ. Oh, you can still run away even if you are stunned. Interesting.
Come on, game. Make me happy. Make me happy. If I can recruit all of the remaining characters today, we have only left with the game to beat tomorrow. Why? <laughs> Maybe we are in the wrong area. But now I'm going to follow the entirety of the path. Mr. J. How's it going? It's going. I think I'm very close to the cutoff point, point of no return, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I have eight characters left. Seven characters left. I don't remember if we have 101 or 102 now. I have this doubt. I don't think about it. And I'm trying to recruit a character that apparently it's very annoying to recruit. I'm not really sure I'm doing the right thing. Yep, that's right. Mr. J is here. Hey, Mr. J, we talked about you before. Your name was dropped. Game holds up well for you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, the game is... more than pretty good. I can definitely see why... Uh, there was a lot of hype... when people... find out I was... gonna play this game. I know why this game is... a lot of people's favorite one. Uh, I can definitely see how this game evolved on one. But yeah, at the end of the day, this game will leave me a very, very long lasting impression and a positive one. Gossip about you. Yep. No, because Chillin Chum, uh, Chillin Chum was asking, um, uh, he was wondering who introduced him to me. And I said, well, it was probably Mr. J during a Mr. J raid. Because you raid me a lot. Uh, 
Green Hill to Muse Green Hill, which is what I'm doing. There must be a free spot in the party, okay? So it is confirmed that you can have other party members. The chances are higher if less people are in it. It's not like I can't remove my last character. Um... Uh, Standing sealed for over 30 minutes make the chances better? That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. You know that, right? I mean, I can do that off stream, but I'm not gonna recruit a character off stream. All right, so we're gonna stick to the right side of this path then. Oh, you had um, buffering problems yesterday, Mr. J? Okay, it's not over 30%, it's just that the bean there sentencing should do the same, is what the internet says. Okay. Which, again, is, is something I would have done uh, if I was playing this on my own and not streaming it. I would probably just stop, watch someone else's on Twitch playing other games. While I was waiting for this, which is what I do while I, when I grind off stream. Entering and exiting places on each as he walks around. Okay, so what you're telling me is that there's a good chance that the RNG resets every time you exit and enter Green Hill. So you can manipulate the RNG for this encounter, at least. I mean, technically, there are a lot of games that you can RNG manipulate uh, to find some stuff. So there's probably other stuff you can RNG manipulate. The border to River Forest Village. Well, if he enters Forest Village, it means that uh, the entirety of the path counts. Because there's no way you're going to get an encounter. You're not going to get an encounter that uh, changes the RNG on your way back to Green Hill. You could actually force enemies to drop items you want with RNG manipulation. It's definitely something I have to uh, take a look at after I'm done playing with the game. Because I plan on um, replaying this on my own for the achievements. and But I also plan to follow a guide to see what missables I have lost along the way. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there are enemies that drop uh, incredibly useful runes that I don't have. Simply due to... Uh, RNG manipulation. It's step based. Well, there's, I have to learn more stuff about this game because uh, I haven't done the Clive side quest. I was too late for the second step. But I want to do that side quest on my own. And apparently, you need to be very fast. Because uh, people told me that originally this game was supposed to have uh, a new game plus. And that side quest was supposed to be like... Completed in a new game plus with more powerful characters. I 
I didn't really want to rush through the game though on my first playthrough to get that side quest. I didn't even know it was time based, to be honest. Um, yes, here we go. Fuck yeah. Finally. <laughs> it's already dying. <laughs> what the hell? That's not... Okay. Alright. You know what? After many years. Example, two steps left and four up on the town map makes RNG advance. So moving in certain ways makes enemy encounters 100% predictable. Interesting. Wait, what if I run away? All right, Muku Muku. That's a character. That is a character. Are we going to save after this? After many years of me going back and forth. If you want, there are several other Squirtle characters you can recruit in the same way. They don't count as stars, though. Do I want to do that? When you say there are several other Squirrels, it means several other hours of me going back and forth. But they don't count as stars. I feel like... I feel like I will witness that stuff on my own. Look. Look, if I'm ever going to replay this game on stream, it will be the remasters. Uh, I can promise you that if I'll ever get to play the remasters on stream, I'll have a 100% playthrough of this game. Now, though, uh, the other hint, the master of the Cave of the Wind. Uh, another, another hint, in my opinion, is the fact that the Cave of the Wind is selectable. Um, because it's technically an early game area. Uh, it's an area you get in in the first 10 hours of the game. And it is selectable after you get Vicky very much late. So there's a reason for us to go there. Let's check. Not all recruitable characters are ones that are core characters. Uh, no, not really. Not really. I think this game... Um, for example, um, the character that we had in our party, Fear McDoll, is the main character of Suikoden 1 and he's not considered a star because he's an optional character. Like, you only get him if you um, load your uh, Suikoden 1 save file before starting this game. So there are probably uh, other characters like that. Maku Maku, Miku Miku, Meku Meku, and Moku Moku. I don't know if I want to get them, though. All right. Let's pay attention to hidden doors, hidden paths. Oh, I'm alone. That's right. Well, this is an early game area. I don't really need to... Let me see your strength. You're 33. Huh. Well, 33 is more or less uh, uh, where you get when you get to Green Hill for the first time. So uh, we could have recruited him way earlier. Loki blowing your mind. There are five optional characters, even when choosing some that might ruin your 108 run. Hmm. 
Interesting. Well, do you get experience here? Not really. If you get, do get them all, they hang out in your castle together. Huh. Well, I'm sorry, but... Muku Muku will have to stay alone. What? Come on. You know you don't want to fight me. I'm pretty sure they have a, a united attack, though, when they are all together, right? You can have a party of squirrels with their own united attack. It's almost guaranteed. There's no way they don't have something like that. All right, so I, I'm pretty sure I checked this place. I checked every nook and cranny of this place the first time I went through here. So if there's a chance a character is in here, it has to be the last room. The room where the Star Dragon Sword is. Did I really leave a treasure chest here, though? What is wrong with me? Firewall. Oh, well, okay. There's a secret side quest that is time based. I know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. The the Clive quest. Uh, I got late to. I mean, the the second encounter, I guess. I was four days late. That's what the game the game told me. I was four game four days la uh, late. And uh, from what I've been told, originally this game um, was supposed to have a new game plus function, and uh, that would have me that would have meant um, replaying the game with the characters having the level um, you had left them on your first playthrough from the start. So you would have been able to rush through the game and get that side quest completed easily. Okay, do we have to move this one? Yeah. Oh God, do I have to redo every single puzzle in this place? I have to. I mean, it's not like hard puzzles, but still. No. Get this. I mean... To be fair, though. Oh, this one's this one. Got the medicine. No way, other item. The medicine. Do I think this puzzle blows? Oh god. That's why I hate this puzzle, because you get stuck easily. If you do it wrongly. But I should be able to do this. Okay. It's just long-winded. Wow, guys. Wow. Just wow. All right. Uh, let's just. I guess let's just reach the last room and see if maybe someone in there. Chat is kicking up a storm. Oh my god! What is happening today in chat?
Mr. J? You used to held the title of Pun Demon. But I think... Ah, ha, 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 Look who it is. <laughs> I mean, sure. I think you're going to be in my party. I think you're going to be in my party. You're so oh, God. Oh, God. Mr. J, someone... Someone is going for your title right now. Damn stats. Damn stats. <laughs> More g okay, start preparing your tales of arise. Pun. You played the game, right? So you 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 have knowledge about it. That's the next game I'm gonna play. Wait, Pittsburgh, you are short. Okay. So you have time to prepare. Um... <laughs> Wanna hear your best joke? Sure! <laughs> Wait, this sends you at the start? No, this does not send you at the start. No, come on. I just want to. Move this. Really? No, no, no. I know that MPC. I know that MPC sends you back, Jill. So. Really? Yo, Darkman. Don't you know how Stallion found his true holy rune? <laughs> I'm trying to think about <laughs> what you're going to say. Oh, we can go there. That's pushing me. There shouldn't be there shouldn't be a wind there. He ran into it. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to move this here. No, let me go there. Come on. 
Puntastic. See, that's why Mr. J got his Puntastic emote. Because originally, he was the Pun Demon. Originally. What's pushing me here? Really? Come on. I know I can get that. Swear to God. You know what? Screw this. Oh yeah, you cannot go back here. That's right. You're not allowed to go. Well, no, you are allowed to go back. What am I saying? You just have to. Just have to fall through. <laughs> Runs are the best, but that secret and that joke. Yeah, I have to admit. It was good. I suck with puns. Like, I can't come up with them fast enough. And I think it's a gift. Like, if you can do that, it's it's truly a gift. All right, so... Uh... I do have a couple of things I want to do. That might get us a couple more characters. Don't start me. That sounds like a like a threat. I got puns for days. All right. Because now I ran out of hints that uh, the game gives you. You've been watching Axelrod play Azure. You mostly tormented him with trails puns. The best puns. Trails puns are the best puns. Uh, yesterday I was watching, I was watching Fluffy playing through Azure, and I have to admit, I think I'm gonna, I'm very close to retract what I said about me not streaming uh, Reverie. I really want, I really want to, I really want to go back on that statement I did play replay everything up to Cold Seal 4 or Nightmare in the next couple of years. Of course, after Reverie. I don't know, there's something magical for me about that series. Alright, so um before before we go and try to recruit the next couple of characters, let's do something. Let us do this. Oh, where's the entrance here? This I... We 
We do have money. That's a lot. Okay. Okay. Whoa. We also use York. Damn, that was a big increase. Holy moly. I think I'm good. For now. Yo, Pickle! How's it going? Sweet token. <laughs> I'm doing alright. I'm doing alright. We're almost done with the recruiting, it looks like. <laughs> Wait, is that a freaking... Oh yeah, that's the Mr. J headpad <laughs> emote. <laughs> that? Wait, do I still have the... I think I have it, right? Yep, it's still here. Let me see if it still works. I uploaded it on Imager a lot of time ago. I don't think it works. I think it was canceled, maybe? No, it's still there. Did I hear a bat? You have no clue what that emote was supposed to be? But that's the best emote to use during a Cold Steel series playthrough, Spartax says. Hat padding, left and right. Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so. Especially with Altina. Yep, every scene we have Reen and Altina in, that emote should be there. Yes, I'm gonna change my party. Mukumuku, I'm sorry, but nope. Uh, Victor, yes. Uh, the front line is going to be Victor, Pismerga, and uh, Georg. I'm going to have Nanami and Luke. Mukumuku is too cute not to use? Yeah, I mean, Mukumuku has a cute portrait. But that's just it, a cute portrait. No more time to squirrel, oh god. Yeah, you, you, you really, you really dig deep for that. All right, so. Okay, I'm now I'm gonna go for two characters. So let's go back to Vicky. And we're gonna go to Couscous. <laughs> if you get the other squirrels, you can finish the game with Ryu and five squirrels. That's like that's like when you replay a game for the second time and you use the uh, the weird DLC costumes like bikinis, swimwear. 
throughout the entirety of the game and you show them during cutscenes. That's the same vibe. They don't come with the flick of a wrist, you know? Holy shit, you really have. You really have a lot of puns. A lot of sickening puns. Wait, no, three characters. Three characters I want to try and get now. All right, you want to come with me now? Aha. Please join our group. No. <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Why am I doing this? You want to teleport somewhere? Yes, we're actually going to Tinto. A boatload of quality puns. God, the quality of the stream today is unmeasurable. Literally unmeasurable. So, question. I knew that there's a bug that will um, make some of the characters that join your party uh, be at level 99. Like, is... Pismurga one of the characters? Because if that's the case... That sounds like you get some really OP character. The chat became warped. Wow. I honestly, I, I am out of words. Do we have... We have the family attack and that's it. Just to see. Now let's go. Need an escape talisman. <laughs> oh, damn. Now that you're mentioning the escape talisman, don't I should have brought one with me. Well, this dungeon is not that long. And there are no... Hey, X-Gamer, still trying to get Mazes. Yes, I'm trying to see if now it's the time to do that. We tried yesterday. Uh, we've had 99 characters at the time. It did not work out. Did I recruit a few others? Well, yes. Uh, I got Prismurga. I got Mukumuku. After almost one hour of me going... Uh, left and right in front of Green Hill. Um, we got... Uh, I got Gordon at the start of the stream because I have grinded off-stream uh, the trade money I needed. Uh, we got uh, Karen the Dancer. And we got Genshu. After this, there's another character that I will try to get. Uh, I didn't see the character. I know that that character is supposed to be in Radat based on what uh, one NPC said.
So that's my next stop. If, of course, this works. So I think it's this, and then it's this, right? Yeah. I should have brought with me an escape talisman, though. Oh, that's right. We have to go all the way around, just like yesterday. Please join me. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, beautiful, it's a mage. Nice. I do remember Crowley. Isn't Crowley the character you get that I got for last? You needed to get your castle to its final level in order to recruit this guy. Okay, so it's 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 castle based. No, it's the other one. That's right. Yes, it's it's one of the I think uh, if I remember correctly, it's one of the last two or three characters where I started asking hints. Because I remember being in the right place, and I started asking hints about uh, the last couple of characters. I knew that I was in the right place. I think it was in a secret room. I don't remember the, the name of the dungeon. I do remember getting Crowley, though. 102 stars. Well, thank God I didn't come here after um, getting Gordon. Because Gordon, Gordon was number 100, I think. Yes, <laughs> there's actually a huge similarity in uh, how you recruit them. A Crowley is a little bit more hidden, though. Do you think we should do a castle tour? We should probably do a castle tour. Yeah, we're gonna exit from this side. It's, a, it's not that long. Okay, so, uh, yeah, uh, I was told that you can get Muku Muku at the start of the game if you check the big tree behind uh, Ryu's and Nanami's house. Uh, and you can definitely expect me to do that on my second playthrough. What the hell am I doing here? There's a lot more going on in the castle than... Yes, that is true. There are mini games everywhere. You had to check that three uh, three times. I don't remember though about any like um, any hint of something going on there. Not a visual or audio hint, so it's really random, like... Why would you check that tree, first of all? And why three times? You only found the rope climbing game with your third playthrough, 
I can see why. To be honest, I realized that there was more to the castle today. Uh, I thought the doors that led you outside were windows. Not doors. In the opening cinematic, you see Ryo, Joe, and Nanami burying a tree. Oh, okay, I see. I see. Yeah, definitely didn't think about that. All right. Uh, before we make uh, go in the castle for a tour. Oh yeah, I know about the other. I know about the other squirrel. Uh, the, the squirrel squad. Squadrel. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Exactly, windows. And then you accidentally walked into them that felt good and bad at the same time. Yeah, because I also saw uh, a couple of characters that I completely forgot about <laughs> doing stuff. Like Freed's wife uh, doing the laundry, for example. All right, uh, Luke, you can leave the party for a little bit, and I want to try and see if, if, oh, first of all, let me see those stats, 59, uh, magic, ooh, a lot of magic there, that's a lot of magic, that's a lot of magic, <laughs> Oh, Millie was also there. Uh, what do I want to get here? Uh, Flake Vicky, we want to get... We want to get where he is. There we go. All right. So we know there's another character in Red Dot that is apparently looking for Simone. But I didn't see any new character in Red Dot. So maybe it is castle based. Maybe we need a castle of level 4 to see that character. Personally, I have never liked items or uh, moves or abilities that do that. Uh, okay, let's start. Uh, let's see if the character is where we found Simone, first of all. Which was here. See? Oh, shit. Uh, uh, it's Vincent. Uh, Vincent is uh, from Second and One. I'm pretty sure. And now I can see the resemblance. I was about to say, I, I was thinking, isn't Simone from Second and One? No, it's Vincent. But um, it doesn't really play a role in Second and One, right? Vincent de Bull, yes. Yes, he played, yeah, but he is not, uh, he is not playable, right? I wonder if he's playable now. Alright, Pickle, happy lurk, and say happy birdie to your friend from me. Like, say, Ryoshin said happy birthday. That's all you have to say. And then, of course, record his or her puzzle face. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Victor is like, what the hell was that? All right. Oh, we also he also left the party. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Now I am officially out of ideas because off the top of my head, I cannot think about other characters that we can recruit. So let's go back to to the castle. Let's take a look at the stone. All right, so complete. 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 One. Two. Do we really miss only two characters? Really? Are we really missing only two characters? Damn. Damn. I don't know. We don't know who they are, though. Uh, so, you can confirm that there aren't, there aren't any more uh, story characters, right? I don't know. I don't know. There's a secret location that's easy to miss. Wait, there's a secret location. Okay. Let me think about places where a secret location might be before I start asking hints. Okay, let's try to find those two characters and then we can uh, take a stroll through the character through the castle. All right, so Toto Ryube Mercenary Fortress North Sparrow Pass. All right, North Sparrow Pass. If I think about the layout of that place, I honestly, honestly don't remember any place suspicious where there might be a cave like a secret cave, a secret path. Muse Green Hill border, it's useless, we cannot go past through that. Couscous Town, we've been there. A south Window City, okay. Red Dot, we've just been there. Cave of the Wind, we explored that place. We got Pismerga, Two River City, Lakewest Town, Cabold Village. Uh, there's the forest. Green Hill City, uh, Forest Village, Forest Path. Forest Path might be a good candidate. Banner Village, uh, Tinto City. Well, regarding this part of the world, Tinto, Chrome, Drake Mouth, Tiger Mouth, I'm pretty sure we did everything. So what you're saying is, it's a secret place. Here's a hint. The place you need to go is mentioned in Sukunin 1 and plays a part in the story there. Okay. Well, if it's something related to Secret and One, maybe it's a secret path here. <laughs> maybe there's a secret path in the forest. 
So I guess I need to check everything. I mean, I know the layout of this place by now. I, I, I went to Gregminster 10 times. At least. And I don't remember about any freaking uh, place here that I might have missed. But maybe it's a secret path. Hopefully it's a path we can see like from the from the outside if we get close to enough to to the walls. <laughs> okay, I know for a fact uh it's it, it's not if the path is here is not on this screen because the first time I got here I checked multiple times every ladder. To get all the treasures and i don't remember any hidden cave hidden path okay it could be a hidden room in gregminster though maybe maybe there's a hidden path in gregminster maybe the castle oh can i go here no Cannot go here. Cannot go here. Cannot go here. Go here. Oh, oh, this is new. This is new. I don't think I've ever been here. Oh, damn! The ninjas! That music, though. Isn't Anzo from Secret One? I think Kage was the other one, right? God, I'm trying to remember the, the ninjas from Secret and One. Uh, Kage is one, right? Yes, Anzo. Okay, now I'm 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 I'm, I'm connecting. Uh, Oh, shoot. Are we done? Kage, Kazumi, and Fuma. Yeah, okay. So, Kage it also appears in this game, right? He is the ninja Joey talks to. After he comes back from the camp, alone. Where he starts acting suspicious. 
Kasumi is the character that you can recruit also in this game if you don't recruit Valeria. Like, you get a choice. Interesting. Damn! Oh, can we recruit the doggo? Oh, I thought... <laughs> I thought I had stolen the dog. If you chose Kasumi, you can do this much earlier. I see. I see. Well, now we have to explore this place, though. Blinking? What does blinking do? A teleport attack? Okay. Oh no, I will never be able to talk to that NPC. Without Kasumi, you'd have needed 100 stars before Unzo let you recruit them. Wow. Oh man, the Trade Guild. Right? I don't really need to trade anymore, I think. Love the music, by the way. I really love the music. Sound set. Got an Oh man no wait wait wait. Wait, are we are we spending money again? I think we are. Uh, throw away other item. I need to... I have a lot of animals in my inventory. How do you trade in a hidden vision? That, that is also true. Like... <laughs> the trade market here should not be good. What the hell is that guy doing on the top right? Thanks for the GG on the stars. We did it. Man, I feel accomplished. I really, really, really feel accomplished. Now let's go back. The thing is, though, man, we got some cool characters. I don't really need... I guess I don't really have space for here in my party anymore. So now, now we can explore the castle. I mean, okay, so. Here's the thing. It's... I've been streaming for three hours. Let me check something. I don't remember something very important. I don't remember if it's today or tomorrow that might change my approach to this stream. Oh, God. 26, March 26. Damn. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, daylight savings is upon us. So at midnight, I have to move the clock forward. So at midnight, it would be it would be one a.m. March twenty-six. So in about thirty minutes, and unfortunately, even if it's Sunday tomorrow, I have to work nine to three. It's my turn to uh, be at the office. It should be a very chill day because it's a Sunday. 
But if I go and start the 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 okay, so now that we got the 108 stars, you can tell me more or less how much time I have left before I see the the end screen. Two hours, three hours, four hours. Remember, I don't have any problems in finishing a game on stream and starting the next one on the same stream. So even if I have like two hours left and I finish the game tomorrow in one hour, um, I can still start the next game tomorrow after we're done with this. Now we're going to explore the castle. Make a solid save state. Well, no, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save, of course. I'm gonna save. Uh, you know what? Just to be sure, after this stream, I'm also gonna back up the save. All right, right. First, we're gonna go and save. here I'm gonna save here and here no sculpture in the main hall I do have a sculpture a sculpture uh I think is it on floor 5f well I was checking the this is where my room is 4f no, it's here. Right? Uh, it's here. Somewhere. I know I have a sculpture of me. Somewhere. Hey, Muku Muku, what are you doing there? Wait, do they hang out all ear on the roof? If I get them? Like, this roof... It's like a farm. Four or five hours? Okay, so we have another stream ahead of us. So, I can tell you right now, tomorrow is going to be the finale of this playthrough. For sure. They hang around in different areas randomly, okay. Thank God. There's not enough space, I think, for all... The freaking squirrels, though. Alright. We are at the top of the castle, so we might as well... Might as well, like... See? I have this statue. It's not a big statue, I know, but, you know... You know what they say? The bigger the statue, the bigger the ego. We just normal, chill people. We have a, a, a statue of the same size of Ryu. That's enough. So I think if I talk to Shu, that's going to trigger the next story event. Right, you're hanging out. What's happening here? Is there anything new? Ah. I'm trying to see if there's anything new. You know what we might do, though? We might check if there's something more we can do with Hi Ho. Yeah, this place, it's definitely more interesting than the, than the castle of the first game.
Like, it feels like a real castle. Now, all Richmond's good for is getting some additional lore for each character. A real nightmare to get them all without long is investigation stake for each one. So, um... I never really, really bothered to check how much time Richmond takes to bring you the news. The result of the investigations. Uh, I want to say probably something in between 20 to 40 minutes, maybe. You know what I've never found? <laughs> now, now that I'm thinking about it, where's the bath? We used to have a bath. Richmond. I'm sorry, but you're not needed anymore. Wait, there is a companion we haven't got. Right? We didn't get one under the Nate stars. Hell, hello. Hello? Hello? What? Oh, that would be the next squirrel. Okay. Okay. I was about to have a heart attack. Because <laughs> I was like, wait, something went wrong. If there's still something here and the tablet is full, something went wrong. Okay, uh, yes, what, what, what's the name of the next one? Miku Miku? Maku Maku or something like that? It's eight leathers. <laughs> like I remember which... Uh, Spartax has said the names before. I guess I have to check... Uh, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, there's the names. Maku Maku, Miku Miku, Meku Meku, and Moku Moku. Okay, eight lathers all. Yeah, I'm happy. But that's the case. Oh, that that's a... A nice animation. Green, yellow, red, blue, and purple. Do you get hints? Like, uh, do you get hints from the same NPC? That would be cool. <laughs> also, <laughs> maybe we should ask that NPC, why the hell squirrels? Hee-haw! <laughs> why the hell squirrels are joining her every time she goes to Muse? Okay, this is the library. Dang, this place is big. Which book do I want to read? The hammer list or the vegetable list? I'm talking about boring books. Yeah, let me read about the vegetable list. Super exciting reading about broccoli. That was this. Nope. Again, no. Want to talk? Jesus Christ, Sid! <laughs> Stop being this creepy. <laughs> I regret recruiting Sid. Well, since I'm here, let me get... Uh... Alright, so... Well, I can sell some stuff. Well, no, I can use some stuff here. Uh, 
I think it's time to use this stuff. Uh, okay, so this is full. Hey, recipes. We can get the recipes. Seed or the guy stupid enough to recruit Seed? Yeah, I know. I, I was like, look, if this wasn't a, a full Stars of Destiny playthrough, I probably wouldn't have recruited Seed. The telescope also took you two playthroughs to use. Well, I mean, it's not really <laughs> shown in sight, you know? Uh, probably because I was waiting to do that on stream, Spartaxes. The thing is, though, I can't really <laughs> deposit or get anything. Uh, I need to sell, well, we need to sell this. We don't really need this. I mean, we can buy this stuff. We only need one medicine. Double strike, poison, down, white urn. Flower painting. I don't really need this stuff. Diet lunch. Oh yeah, diet lunch, that's right. Uh, deposit. Withdraw. Let's start withdrawing this stuff. Uh, yeah, we're gonna bring... Ah, uh, man! Hang on a second. Let me see something. 1089. 198. Like... Yes, Thunder, yes, Blue Gate, yes, Fire. Like, technically, Mazus and uh, Speed. Well, Luke is way faster. I think I'm going to stick to Luke. Let me see. I think I'm gonna stick to Luke. In a way, it's good you recruited the Griffin and the Unicorn. Um, if you didn't recruit them both, you could have gotten an octopus named uh, Abyss Boa, which in turn might have allowed you to recruit another monster named Rolodia, which would have been a problem for you. Why would have been a problem? Well, if I think about it, I know the answer already, because, well, if I got you 108 stars like this and Maybe that Rolodia is now counting as a star? That's why? I think I'm gonna stick to Luke for now. Yeah, you got an extra NPC, but they don't both count. Ah. Well, thank God. <laughs> thank God I got the Griffin and the Unicorn. Uh, all right. Um, let me also do something else. I know, I know. Victor. At least let's get them to 15. Is the attack power going to influence, influence um, 
also is magic stat? I don't think so, right? This is just physical. And I'm never gonna use Luke physically. I guess Flick could be a good replacement. If I ever get to leave another character out. Do I have some cool stuff I can give to y'all? No. Alright, let me go to the... Just for a second. Um... Oh, there's the bath. I like the reverb, the echo. I like it. Nice touch. I love when the music changes depending on the room or area you're in. Okay, what do you want, a drum cam bath? No, of course. We're gonna go for a jungle bath. Look at this. Does this really make sense? Place an item, we have a graffiti. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can get, a lot of side stuff. Uh, remodel bath. How about a marble bath? Oh, this one looks cool. Because while Abyss Boa is a star recruit, Rolodia isn't, and they both require the listening crystal to recruit, and you only get two in a playthrough. Abyss Boa would have been passed over for most playthroughs, considering it's found at the Tinto Cave so much later than the others. Okay. So, basically, the game really doesn't want you to get Abyss Boa, based on what you're saying. Like, it's very hard. Uh, okay, live the bath. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff, honestly, to do. I wonder if the Retro Achievement set has stuff like this. Okay, let's go. Like, rem get all the items. It's more a secret lore thing, you guess. How many games have Basilon allow you to change out the look? Well, yeah, a Secret in 1 has the same thing. And I'm guessing every Secret in after this. Like, if the castle mechanic... Oh, uh, that's right. If the castle mechanic is in every Sukkoden, you can expect a bath in every Sukkoden. I guess I have to re-enter the place. They have secret lore scenes. Oh, I guess we're gonna... We can get a lot of scenes based on... Look at this. Beautiful. We still can get a horse, though. That sucks. Yeah, there's definitely a lot. I'm definitely gonna replay this game on my own. Uh, probably at around the end of this year, and get everything. I love when games have a lot of stuff to do. I know that uh, some people consider that, like, something that might be detrimental, like, might distract you from the main story, but I love side activities. I love checklists in games. Okay, this is not who I wanted to see dancing in here. I'm sorry. But Gangan and Gabocha? <laughs> not the dancers I wanted to see. Also, what the hell is that dance? 
the animation though is cool. Like the, the sprite animation in both games is uh, top tier for the time. Also, getting both Abyss, Boa, and Rulodia could have you find another monster named uh, Chuchara somewhere in your castle. You could recruit it as well, but once again, it's not a star. So, are they are they strong at least? Like, are they considered strong? <laughs> it's interesting that I cannot move. We have to see this. <laughs> the cobalt mating dance. <laughs> and now you're dead. After watching this. <laughs> Let's gouge our eyes out. Oh shit. There's another one. Can I give him like if I if I if I pick just a minute, can I give him the recipes? Let's let's just try. No, I don't think so. All right. We're going to leave everything to the ice cream. Well, I activated this one, so I guess we're stuck with what we have. Oh yeah, let's take a look at the judges. Not the best bunch. Barbara is always angry for whatever reason. Muku Muku, what the hell? Also, I've lost what they say about Bolgan. Likes everything, okay. I'm not surprised. Oh, wait. Okay, no, 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 no. The stuff has, uh, appeared. We have it. We have it. We are real. We have everything. All right, so. Hmm. <laughs> are we going to start with... What's a Hoitashi? I can check this. What's a Hoitashi? Mm. Vegetables steeped in dashi based sauce. Interesting. Uh, it's a side dish, though. Gyoza sounds good right about now. Would you consider gyozas uh, appetizers? I mean, if you eat a couple of those, it could be like... Sandwich? Nah. Simmered fish... Croquettes? Croquettes could work for an appetizer, you know? I never had gyoza. I have to... Become who has that food knowledge to God. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Let's go with gyoza. Gyoza with soy sauce uh, as the main course. Today we're gonna go with grilled fish. I forgot what they said about Barbara, but we're gonna go with grilled fish. Come on, Mukumuku might like fish. 
and uh, we're gonna go with grilled fish and salt. Salted fish, Fri uh, fried gyoza as a dessert. I mean, as a dessert, we're gonna go with. So we're gonna get the cake recipe if we win this. Uh, still ice cream. We're gonna go ice cream and mayonnaise. No, with sugar. Pudding. Ice cream and mayo. Ice cream with red pepper. I think there are some. I mean, there are some some um, sweets out there that are served with some salt, like after they're baked. Sweet omelette. Okay, decent one. How about us? Sweet omelette as an appetizer? Come on. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think we're even. Ooh. Fries always need mayo. I like my fries with mayo. I prefer my mayo to catch up with fries. I prefer mayo in general. Holy shit. That was an heavily dish. Yo, Jim. How's it going, Jim? How are you doing? Long time no see. That's right. How are you doing? Damn. Okay. We shouldn't be that behind. If he, if he, if he effed up the... Well, no, it's his special dish, though. Holy shit, this dude. Uh, I have been... I have been streaming quite irregularly. The past couple of weeks. Like, two, two to three days, mostly a week. Damn, it's not that far. Come on. Probably four or five points. No, eight points. Damn. But I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Wait. Yeah, you, you 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 may have missed a couple of times, but I haven't I haven't like streamed a lot this past couple of weeks. So what happens? <laughs> Do we have to restart the game now? You must have missed uh your mom thinks you wait for that because you put butter on fries before. I honestly don't really like butter. Like if I can avoid butter, I avoid it. Bed ending locked in now. Damn. The group will never forgive you. Oh, wait, I have to. Your menu is not really doing well. I failed the food lords. I'm sad.
Seems like it doesn't trigger right away, the next one. Uh, is there anything I've missed here? Well, we can go, like... Down here. I need to learn how to cook. Absolutely. Man, I got my ass kicked by the battle. Why are we arresting people? Who are these people, by the way? Who are these random NPCs that we're locking up <laughs> behind a cage? Grand adventure with even a grander war. Yep. I'm not gonna fish. Don't look at me. I'm not gonna fish. I'm sorry. Not now, at least. All right, let's go to the cemetery. What are you doing? Are you trying to steal the identity? Of one of the dead people? Stallion, stop running around tombstones, please. Oh, that's a... That, that, that... See? Act like this one. Act like Guntetsu. Now I have a doubt, though, because it's still... Wait. Okay, no, no, no. It's midnight now, so... I have to, I have to, like, it's automatically gonna move... At 2 a.m., it's automatically going to move to 3 a.m., so I'll have to sleep one hour less tonight. So I think... Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to put an end to today's stream here, and tomorrow, we're going to finish the game. I should have enough time and enough content fill an entirety um an entire stream with Suikoden and stuff cuz yeah i have to you time this well <laughs> yeah i mean usually on saturdays <laughs> If this, if I hadn't had to work tomorrow, I probably would would have finished the game today. Like, we would have went and streamed for another three, four hours.